What is an unusual habit or an absurd thing that you love? For example, I won't say who it is. I know someone who loves go eat Cool, Ra cool Ranch Doritos with the, the tuna fish that's in the... Um, that is disgusting. They swear by it. Anyway, so with, yeah. What's an unusual thing that I love? Yeah, an unusual habit or an absurd thing that you love. Does it have to be food related? It could be anything. Okay, I love cracking bones. I feel like that's not even that weird, but I love cracking bones. I don't know, my neck, like fingers, other people's fingers. I love it. Fun fact. Yeah. So I watch chiropractic videos. Same, all the time. And there's a whole, there's a, <laughs> it's a weird thing. I don't know. My wife will walk in at, you know, one o'clock in the morning and I'm on my laptop. I, I switch to something else because it's easier to explain. Oh, yeah. 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 She's like, are you watching, you watching chiropractic videos again? The, but there's a term for that, like a crack addict. Yeah, but there's really? there's a channel that I watch where it's he's a chiropractor for like yeah. athletes, and so he's always doing stuff on football players yeah. and, and MMA fighters and all that stuff. But it's or it's, it's like if I hear someone else cracking their bones, like right now, like I'm itching to crack my fingers. <laughs> I do it all the time. So that is unusual, but it's not weird. It's not like, uncommon, yeah. or maybe it is weird. But I think a lot of people secretly yeah. they enjoy it, right? I see people popping their necks all the time. When you think of the word successful, who is the first person that comes to mind and why? My dad. My dad. He, he's been a cop my entire life. He became a police officer when he was uh, 21, actually. Um, he retired after, I believe it was 25 years. Um, he now gets to travel the country and teach on mental health. He was actually here at this hotel about two weeks ago doing a different wow yeah a different thing but he travels around teaching different police units and dispatch units about mental health and de-escalation and he actually came into my ALS class and taught and now he teaches with them um, but it's great and he's just completely transformed because I did get to see my dad go through depression and I yeah. did get to see that when after everything and um, seeing where he's at now he he's doing great that, that's remarkable, especially, you know, just able to use that experience and like, and not just bottle in, but again, just, hey, here's some lessons or, you know, a better pathway for other people. Yeah. No, that's great. <laughs> I have, I feel like I have an answer for you, but I'm going to let you answer. 